One of the beauties of living in Mexico is that the cost of living here is so affordable, really. You can actually get by with an entire meal that will fill you up for just two US dollars. And one of my favorite parts about supermarkets here is that when you walk in, you're not overwhelmed by brands and options, and you can basically find everything you need. Well, most of the time. If you're looking for more special ingredients or things to make international cuisine, it is really hard to find that here. Trust me, I'm the girl who comes back to Mexico with a suitcase full of spices, vanilla pudding jello mix, and high quality maple syrup. Those things are just not easy to find here. But all that has changed since I discovered a new grocery store in the town we live in called Cuernavaca. This store is insane. I have never seen anything like it, and it truly is the fanciest grocery store in Mexico. And for me, maybe even the fanciest grocery store I've ever been in. Let's get started. Hey travelers, my name is Juliana, and that's my husband Martin. We've been traveling around the world for four years and fitting it into our lives any way possible, whether that be volunteering in hostels, working on cruise ships, taking short weekend adventures, or living as expats working remotely. Our goal is to show you how to have unique and memorable trips, no matter what your circumstances. A few years ago, the town I currently live in called Cuernavaca, which is right outside of Mexico City, opened a new store called City Market. This store has basically stunned everybody I know who has ever entered it. City Market is actually one of the higher end and brands owned by La Comer. I basically think of it as La Comer's rich older cousin. Also, this is not sponsored. I was watching the footage through and I was like, I never said it wasn't sponsored and I'm like talking so great about this store. It is not sponsored. They don't know who I am. They don't know I exist. I can tell you they didn't like me filming in their store, but um, yeah, not sponsored. <laughs> This is the place to go to find all things high-end or imported. Basically just things you can't find at a normal grocery store in Mexico. Now I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous to be filming inside of the grocery store, so if I seem a little bit off during this video, that is why. Filming in a grocery store is one of those things that feels illegal but isn't, but I'm gonna try to bring this camera inside, show you guys everything there is to see in this market. It's nuts. Let's get started. at all the grocery stores in Mexico now, but in Mexico, they've started putting labels on all the food that have excess calories, excess sugar, sodium, fat. So here you can see an example of that. One thing that I think is super cool about City Market is that all the prices here are like on these electronic tags. It's so bougie. And I mean, look at this water they're selling for about $2.50, a little bit more. So many interesting products here. Here you can see they have a salad bar where you can pick all of your ingredients for them to make salads for you. Over here you have like all of your fine dining stuff. So cool. Like I said, this is the place to go to get things that you can't normally find other places. I can never find kombucha anywhere. So they have it here. We're gonna stock up. All the different types of milk you could dream of. This brand I only ever see in the US so they must import this in. Yeah, they're definitely hopping on the cold brew trend here. Sorry if you guys are having trouble hearing me. I have my mask on, so it's kind of muffled. But anyway, this store is a genius at marketing because everything, the way it's displayed here is just so, so genius. But look at the liquor section. They have so many different options of things that are imported in, bottles and bottles. This is like where you'd go to have a party or something. You can find everything you'd want here. Actually, in the back here, they even have like a special reserve area where they keep all the really expensive stuff. I mean, look. You have to like get permission to go in there. Now without a doubt, the coolest part about La Comer is that they actually have places that you can eat inside of here. They have a little restaurant here. It looks like they serve pizzas, coffees. It's closed right now though due to COVID. And they even have a bar back there. How crazy. You can actually get a drink while you do your grocery shopping. I don't think any other store can live up to that height. We are in the meat section. Every single cut you could want. They even have duck. I've heard they also have caviar and like really, really nice cuts of beef here. Look at, they have Wagyu for 1,266 pesos. They even have this meat here that's been aging and they list the number of days it's been aging. 
that I've always had trouble finding in Mexico is baking supplies and they have a really, really good baking aisle. They even have red velvet cake mix, which is really hard to find here. And they even have all these different frostings. This is also definitely a good place to get spices because they have literally everything. Oh my God, I love this stuff. Don't mind if I do. I have a whole spa section. I feel like this is an elevated target, honestly. So, so, it smells so good over here. There's so many staff members everywhere. This place is very well staffed, so you can always ask somebody if you need to find something. Like if you're a health nut, they're gonna have all the different proteins you might want, all the different supplements. They even have like, what is this? Beet powder. I don't know why you'd ever need it, but hey, it's here if you need it. Like, it's definitely a place for hipsters. It's not for the average person, but oh my God. I love it here. <laughs> Okay, here's their whole cheese section. All these cheeses. Oh my god, I forgot they have this, they have this little pastry shop over here. But check this out. They have all these delicious looking chocolates. And you can get them in little bags. This is such a great place to get a gift. Look at this. They have macaroons. They're 19 pesos each. And they have these little tarts as well. How adorable. They have pecan pie. They also have these beautiful cakes as well. They go for like 270 pesos each, which isn't bad. That's like $13. All these dried meats. You can get your cheese in big old blocks. You can get it shredded. They have fondue. And surprisingly, the panaderia is pretty lackluster. Not much going on over here. Now, a couple years back, I had such a hard time finding burrata or like ricotta and all those fancy imported cheeses, but they actually sell it here. And they even have this section called Cocina Gourmet, where you can buy things that are already pre-made to go. So I know that a lot of people really like the lasagna, which they have right here. You have hamburgers of quinoa, you can get caprese salad. Wow. They have so many imported things from different countries in Asia. Like these things? Who would have known they'd have that? They have Pocky, Panko breadcrumbs. Oh my gosh. I love Asian food, so it's really good to know that there's a good place to buy these types of ingredients here. This is definitely the type of store to go in with a list because you will be overwhelmed. They even have like really nice syrups that they import from Canada, which is a common thing expats say you need to bring from your home country is syrup because it's hard to find a good one here, but they actually have high quality stuff. So basically, in summary, this store is just full of imported things, very luxurious items, and is good for people who have like health concerns, like maybe they're gluten free or they like to use certain supplements. They have like everything you could want here. Plus, I love that they have like the little gourmet food section where you can take things to go. They have that little pasteleria where you can get little desserts and such. I think this is such a cool store. And luckily it's like super early in the morning so nobody's really here. Well, they kicked me out of City Market for recording, but that was to be expected. We got as much footage in as we could, but that store is insane. There is so much luxurious stuff. Actually, look at one of the things Martine got. This super delicious looking goat cheese with like blueberry throughout it and his favorite he loves coming here for this dulce de leche so freaking good and overall i feel like i don't belong in that place it is so so fancy uh, i wish that the restaurant was open so i could show you guys the food there and we could sit and chat but unfortunately it's closed due to covid so we're just gonna head back home and eat the things that we got i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one so long travel well and make the world your neighborhood see you guys next time bye Hey, thanks for watching this video. Did you know we have a Patreon? All our members get access to monthly income reports, exclusive podcasts, access to our private Facebook group, and even a copy of my ebook, Puerto Vallarta Like a Local. Business and first class patrons also get a postcard from us each month. Thanks so much for the support. Click the Patreon logo on the screen to join our family.